Hey guys, it's Vicki. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you three things that I do that I feel are what have helped me make consistent sales on Poshmark. So if you'd like to see what I do, then keep watching. There's one tip that I haven't heard anybody talk about, and it's something that I've noticed. And I don't know if, if it's just a coincidence. I don't know. But when you are listing items, okay, try to focus on the last part of a numbers. So let's say you're almost at 300 listings. When I have been towards the end of a number, so say like 180, 280, 380, 480, 580, 680, I see an increase in my sales right before I'm about to go over to the next. So try test that out and just see. Like honestly, I've had a ton of sales. I was at 679 today. I've had like six sales. As long as I keep making new listings to stay at that area, I have consistent sales. So if I, like today, I have like 20 new items I need to list before I go to bed tonight, I already know that I'm gonna be breaking 700 active listings tonight and things are gonna slow down a bit. So I've got to really push to get towards that end number. I've really noticed <laughs> that it makes a difference. So try that, see if that, if it helps at all. If you've noticed that your cells are more increased when you're at the end of those numbers and let me know in the comments below because I really, I'm noticing that. I've been noticing that for quite some time. Um, the second thing is relisting your old still items. Now, everybody talks about that, but nobody really understands, I guess, because I, I still see people asking, well, what is a still item? So whenever you're in the Poshmark app, what you would do is go to the filters and you would go click the just in and then you click your available listings and you're going to scroll all the way down to the very bottom. OK, those are your oldest listings. Those would be considered stale. So what I do every day, OK, even if I don't have things to list, I always delete and relist at least five of those items um, and I will set the price higher and um, I will use my phone. I will screenshot all of the photos in the listings before I delete them and then I will copy the description and then I will delete it. I will go press um, sell new item. I will put in those photos, I will paste that description, I will, you know, make my uh, title, check the comps real quick, and relist. Honestly, that has increased my sales a great bit because, um, I don't know why, honestly. It's weird because a lot of the items that I've sold from doing the deleting and relisting, um, they were before I deleted them were very low. Like I had a pair of theory pants. I had them down at $15. I relisted them for $49 and today I got an offer for $30 and I was like, okay, you know, it, it really, it really does work. Um, definitely relist older items. Um, it doesn't matter how many likes you have on it. Honestly, a lot of people are like, oh, but I have like 30 likes. It doesn't matter because if any of those people were going to buy it, they would have already done it by now. So don't waste your time. Just delete it and relist it. I anyway, so I can't guarantee that you will see it sell, but um, the chances, if it's, you know, a nice item that people are, you know, wanting, if they liked it 30 times before, then obviously people like it. So just take your chances. I'm telling you, it, it does truly work. And my third tip is to stay consistent, okay? That is the biggest thing. Consistency is key with Poshmark. Sharing your closet at least once a day, just so your listings are showing an updated time. Um, as a reseller and a buyer, I will be looking for certain things. And if I go to your page and I find the item I want and the color I want and the size I want and the price is too good to be true and I see there's 50 likes on it, but then I look at the updated, um, time and it's like it's been seven months since you did anything with that that item I'm gonna move on because I figure you know that person must be inactive because this would have already been gone by now so um, definitely stay consistent with your sharing and your relisting it's that's the biggest step you know the more you put into Poshmark the more you will get out of it the more um, listings you have the more sales you'll have it's just how it is um, but yeah those are my three tips. And I mean, honestly, they have helped me a lot. I am consistently making over $2,000 a month. And that's after my cost of goods and 
after, well, I can't say that. I take 25% from my earnings <laughs> for taxes for next year. So, and the app, it's well over $2,000 a month, but after taxes is about 1,900. 1800 1900 around there which is still good with me because it's more than what i was making at my full-time job um working in healthcare um but yeah so those are my three tips try them out and see if they work let me know if they work um but those are things that i do and like i said i am consistently making sales and there's some days where i don't have any sales but typically the next day it'll make up and i'll have three or four sales or five or six sales it just depends um, so yeah, try them out, see if they work, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.